Welcome to today's Grow It Green. I'm joined by Jeremy Delisle of UNH Cooperative Extension. Jeremy, today we're talking about one of the pests in New Hampshire, and that's the hemlock woolly adelgid. And basically, if you're in Coas County, you don't have to worry. Most of Grafton County, but everybody else. Right, right. yep, it's definitely spread, and so, um it's good to check these maps through New Hampshire Division of Forest and Lands to see where it is. And if it hasn't landed in your town yet and you identify it and find it, it's good to call the division to let them know that you have found it there and report it. So what are we looking for here? So here you can see this is a blown up photo of the adelgid and uh, covered in this woolly covering, this protective coating. And so this is what many times homeowners, landowners will first see when they're scouting to see whether or not they have this pest. Now we have some examples here in the wild and what are we looking for. Right, here. so you can see here if we come up and take a close look at this branch you can see this white fuzzy coating and so this is actually hemlock woolly adelgid here. Um, it's typically attached to the twigs and feeding on them and so it's it's sucking plant juices and weakening the tree in that way. Will it eventually kill the tree? It can kill the tree and normally it takes somewhere in the range of four to ten years for it to do that uh, and there are instances where it's killed large patches of trees and so constant scouting um, of homeowners, landowners to see whether or not this is here and then we can decide what we want to do as far as practices to control it. Yeah, no, so that was going to be my next question. Is it a matter just to simply like cutting off that branch or uh, what do we do? Yeah, so if you catch it early, you could certainly do that. Remove this, um, get that out and dispose of it, destroy it. Don't throw it in your compost pile. Don't throw it in your compost. Um, in small instances, what you can do at times is, is you can chip this um, and if you run it through a chipper and then cover it with a tarp or um, plastic of some sort for a number of years, you can kill it that way. Um, you can also cut and burn this and destroy them in that fashion. Um, if it's a small planting that's relatively short, um, there are insecticides, horticultural soaps and oils that homeowners can use. And there are also um, other pesticides that can be used to control it through a soil drench application or a basal spray to the base of the tree to help control those. Okay, and if you are interested in finding out some more information about it, there is a fact sheet. If you have questions about it, what else should you do? Yep, so uh, one of the things that's great to do is if you find it and um, you can go to to NewHampshireBugs.org and this is a really informative website. You can find all kinds of information there including uh, applicators if you need help controlling it. You can report it there and you can check these maps to see whether or not it's shown up in your town and so please do that. Call and report it if you find that it's not in your town yet and that way we can stay on top of the spread of this insect. Okay and that's it for today's Grow It Green.